Hey folks, Aiden here. It's been a while since we've discussed the upcoming Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. Some may see this as overdue considering that what I'm about to report on surfaced this last Thursday, but we haven't had too much access to our recording equipment to show it off. Still, this is exciting information regardless. Though we sincerely ask that you take it as a grain of salt, because the information is, although accurate, purely an afterthought of the developers. We did some research into the recent news of the interview that was held by Dengeki Nintendo with the developer team behind Fire Emblem Shadows of Valentia. Serene's Forest user Kirokan has taken great lengths to properly translate the entire article, and unfortunately the information in the article has been misconstrued and falsely reported by a number of outlets. We want to show you just exactly what this interview says and why it may be important for future Fire Emblem titles. There are several topics in this interview that are covered in pretty thorough detail, like the decisions behind adjusting the game's difficulty for players that had a rough time with the original, the RPG systems within the game, character design, and, most importantly, the reason behind naming the game Fire Emblem Echoes. We see here that the publication asks what the aim of naming the game Echoes was. The first part of the answer was delivered by the game's director, Kenta Nakashini, and he answers, The game's title may have been confusing as to which Gaiden it was, and this is due to the fact that Gaiden in Japanese translates to Side Story, which could have proven an odd choice, both in marketing and in nailing which side story this is referring to when there have been others ten years later. Art director of Fire Emblem Awakening, and now of Echoes, Toshiyuki Kusakihara, elaborated that they tried to avoid the name New Gaiden as much as possible due to this confusion. Hitoshi Yamagami, series producer, confirmed that they did indeed intend to avoid that from the start, and furthermore, they wanted a title that resonated even outside of Japan. This brought them to the name Echoes, and he explains that they, quote, imagined it was fitting as older games could now echo to the modern players. We were very pleased with the choice, and if there were to be more remakes in the future, we figured we could use the Echoes title again. This is where the point of confusion rests for many people. Yes, the series producer did confirm that this would be a nice title to use for future remakes, which falls perfectly in line with our first video concerning the Echo's title, but it should be taken very lightly, considering Mr. Yamagami said if there were to be more remakes, not when. He also stated it passively, as in we figured we could use the title again. The way that it is represented here seems almost that of an afterthought, and they clearly made that name with the intention of avoiding another, more confusing one. This information is promising, however, as any subsequent remakes going forward will have a great chance at being part of a larger Echoes series, with appropriate subtitles denoting which era is being revisited. So, did you find this insightful? Excited for the potentialities? Please write your thoughts in the comments and we will attempt to answer any questions you may have regarding Fire Emblem and anything regarding this issue. Thanks for watching.